Hi, George Nicholas again. You know, I'm very, very upset today. I used to be a former federal manager involved in writing regulations. We are either stupid or we're so brainwashed in this society that we believe the things that Congress passed, especially the Pelosi Congress passed in the Obamacare bill, are going to benefit us. It may benefit a few, but in the long run, we're going to be killing grandma and me, grandpa, because we're too expensive. If you read and look at the unfunded liability of this country in the area of Medicare, Social Security, and Medicaid, we're talking about $101 trillion. That's more than five times the current debt level. May not be five times more than the current debt level in 10 years, but it's certainly more than the recognized debt level of this country. Yesterday I got this magazine. It's the American equivalent of the word Pravda in Russian. It's the government executive magazine. And in it, and read that top word, it says health hazard. It talks about the implementation, the writing of the regulations, which will implement Obamacare in the next three to four years. What we're going to see is limiting of health care. Oh, we're going to cover those people with pre-existing conditions. But how far, how long, and what are we going to do? We're certainly going to limit health care for the elderly. Those people in my age group, and I'm 78, do you think I'm going to get life-extending care? Even though I may be otherwise in good health, they're going to say, you're 78. You're living beyond your normal life expectancy. Why should we invest money in you when we don't know how much longer you're going to live anyway? But genetically, my family in, in the old country lived to be over 100 years old. Some of them died in their 90s. They were the few. But what I'm saying to you, are you stupid? Or are you brainwashed to believe that the current administration and the Pelosi Congress, which is, thank God, departed, did you any favors by the passing of Obamacare? Check for yourself. If you can't get a copy of this article that's in the Federal Executive Magazine, I'm going to try to get Mike to post it on his website because it's important for you to read. Remember, I wrote regulations. They had to be open for public review before they were implemented. Regulations have the force and effect of law. The E. L. Christensen et al. decision of the Supreme Court in the early 1960s said so. So beware. Another point in the Professor Nicholas telling the truth to you. As the Russian's newspaper is called Pravda, which means the truth. I'll talk to you again across the kitchen table. Thank you.